doing some uh, inspecting, huh? <laughs> yeah, I feel that kind of crazy. This one was a uh, main motif used in the second performance that Sam did with uh, Rabbit House of Kenzo. The floral elements are from his time with Dior and Louis Vuitton. Uh, I was using the merch too. And uh, look, okay, I, I know you're kind of mad at me for throwing you in the deep end and crashing the program last time. Look, one thing I can promise you with this avant-garde experimental performance stuff is the crashing is what makes it sexy. The risk, the terror. Will everyone I love and respect at this festival watch me show my ass? Speaking of, I mean, the next performance was kind of a big deal uh, for Sam. I think for, for everybody involved, it was really a culmination of the kind of improvisational, on-stage, real-time, virtual kind of choreography, uh, exp exploring what the kind of representation of the body on this on stage and in the space with the audience can be, and kind of just really brought everything together. And it's 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 hard to convey the energy, the intensity of the being in the big theater in Krakow as the dolls dragged out this massive platform to the middle of the crowd, rabbits slamming tracks together on stage, and Sam doing whatever digital bullshit he does. Oh, we're, we're talking about Lens Out, by the way, in Poland. And, and you can see, already see, uh, a lot of the assets uh, are being reused from Day for Night, but uh, it really did crystallize the first phase of Rolf's performance practice. I mean, it brought everything together in a way more intentional kind of way um, and kind of expanded the, the visual kind of performance language. And I would love to show you around if you're still into it. There we go. Okay, okay. I'm excited to hear that. Um, to get around, um, I've got a couple presents for you. Not a brag. Um, but the first one is in my mouth. Yeah, just gonna take it out. It's like a, uh, it's like a tennis ball taste. But um, so that is basically the only thing that Sam uses for cuts. Typically, it's all smooth, floating around, one one cut bullshit. But this will let us get to scenes quick. I mean, this is a big level, so we're going to need to do that. Um, but of course, keeping with the Rolfus thing, it has to be kind of, you know, smooth and fluid. So uh, start getting those hips moving. Yeah, there, yeah, there you go. There you go. And then um, I'll, we're kind of in the middle of it. See, so, yeah, we're kind of dancing. In the middle of it, we're going to kind of teleport, okay? And then um, I'm going to do it when you least expect <laughs> it. Uh, so here we are. Kind of, this is the main, main starting space in for the Unsound Performance. Um, I didn't bring you here just for the uh, romantic view. Uh, I remember you're so good at pressing buttons, right? And you love doing that. I could really use that expertise right now because we are trying to get this thing started. There's a lot of stroby shit we gotta kind of get popping. So um, over here, yeah, just look over. See, I'm trying to open this up, but uh, you might notice my hands don't really work. I, I'm rigged up to be comedic and flowy, but uh, I can't really press shit. So if you don't mind getting in there and just kind of tapping that, yeah, just go, yeah. Huh. Okay. Uh, one, one more time. Huh. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. 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 I'm not really supposed to do this, but I think I know where we can get some hands. We're going to have to match cut again though, if that's okay. Right? Okay. So, so I'll do it. We'll do it slow this time. All right. So just get ready. Okay. Right, slow. Fast. <laughs> Okay, and this is another space, and anyway, we've got a couple unused bodies over here, and I thought you might be uh, interested in trying them out, eh? So, uh, you've got the choice between this uh, duck-billed skeletal angel with the uh, aggressive hips and this kind of dog-faced armless freak show over here. Uh, I'm just joking, there's only hands on this one, so you have no choice. So come on over here. Yep, yep, yep. Just use the little locomotive. There you go. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to get better at this, but okay. Yeah, get her. Saddle up in there. It's just your size. Human. <laughs> uh, <can> just... <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Just give it a test drive. Drop those hands. Yeah, there you go. Hands are pretty good. How about the legs? Check those legs out. Look at those little legs. Look at those dainty little legs. It's so cute. Uh, so, yeah, basically, this is another main component of the kind of Rolfus performance practice. Mocap. Like, you, typically, there's somebody on stage wearing a mocap suit, and as with you, you your their movements, their hands, their arms, their legs, their head, can control all the movements of the different characters. Like, to your right, well, we got the dog face freak again. Wave hi, hi. And you can see it's moving with you. So it kind of, the movement kind of cascades across all the different characters in the scene. And that's, that's kind of important because it allows everything to kind of breathe together at once. And because it's semi-improvisational, the choreography really just kind of arises from the design of the characters and you responding to the different shapes that figures are making with their bodies as you watch yourself on screen or VR. 
and you'll find yourself moving completely different ways than you would otherwise, depending on what the movements are most emphasized with the character. Yeah, so like for the hands right now, you you got these long hands that emphasize his wrist movement. The dog face freak over there, he has no hands. Oh no! But he does have that glowing crown, which is great for head movement. Yeah, see, see, you you got it. All right, all right, all right, all right, hot shot. So give, let's give it a test try. Let's see what you got. Let's see some moves. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, hey, hey, look, that's great. You can stop. That's really promising. Um, we need to keep moving. So if you want to see the next step, I've left it right below you. Just take a like a look down. Yeah, just look. Ah, okay. You're just joking. Okay, so here we're getting into the repetition and different scales of characters. Thinking the, about the placement, the orientation, the size of the figures as different paintbrushes for building a moving composition. Um, and to see kind of the next step, I'll uh, do a little head bang and we'll match cut to the next scene. Yeah, just yeah, just slam it down. Nice. Okay. So so move your hands around. Yeah. So you're not telekinetic, obviously, but it's the same one-to-one -one connection, your movement to the movement of the figures in the scene. That's still there, but it's just abstracted a bit further. We've broken apart the figure, but left the relation to the body. The movement of your limbs moves all the different objects. What what you're seeing is just the ghost image of the overall kind of breathing of the the, the, the activation of the body. One step further removed from its literal representation of like my left arm moves like this then it, it moves like that you know so it's it's just um it's reorienting uh the the entire kind of configuration of the body but still representing it directly um so let's we gotta keep going so to so do one one more little match cut thing um and we'll we'll, we'll get this show started Bam. Okay, that was that was the right one. We're back. We're back at the right place. Um, and I and ready. Remember, we are so good at the button pressing. You, you remember? You like buttons, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, button pressing time. Okay. So we gotta get the show started. We're going so long. All right. So open it up. Okay. And then just hit it, and we'll get, we'll get this roll on. So, there you go. Okay. See, it's also controlling the character in the distance. So get those legs going too. Yeah. That's kind of weird hoe down thing, but whatever. Okay, yeah, keep getting into it. Let's off the intensity, come on. There you go. All right, all right. One more headbang and we're gonna finish this off. We got one more button for you, okay? Okay, ready? And there's that button, hit that button, hit that button.